Hello, thank you for joining me. We're still in Guildford, or just outside Guildford. In my last video at Guildford Castle, I said we'd walk along the River Way. Now, if you're wondering, this isn't the River Way. This is a very small tributary. The River Way is just there. There's a nice little bridge here, so we'll walk over this. We're going up to St Catherine's Chapel. This is just a very small little stream, which I think is... Um, I'm always fascinated by little and big water courses. So it just comes down there into the river way itself there's a fish i just saw a fish and it just swam off so this is the river way that way goes towards guildford that way goes towards tilford where it starts this area is owned by national trust see it says riverway navigations so we're now on national trust land we're going in this direction away from guildford we're going to go and try and find st catherine's chapel now when we was at the last video at the castle i did point it out i don't think the camera could really pick it out but in the distance i said that's where on that hill over there is where st catherine's chapel is so that is where we're going now so here's i like this bridge i think when i walk back to the city i'm gonna go back this way from st catherine's chapel i'll go over this bridge this is actually the bridge that carries the pilgrim's way and then follow the path that way and round the top of the city just to see a bit of difference now. It's very sandy here, it's almost like a beach. I mean, we're in deepest Surrey and you could almost build a sandcastle here. We've got to try and get up this hill somehow, um, which might be easier said than done, especially when holding a camera. So I'm just going along here, I'm going to try and find a way up. Uh, I think, try. Thank you. So we're going to leave the riverway behind. There's the riverway. It's a lovely walk along there, by the way. Let's go up here, up to St Catherine's Chapel now. This bit is going to be a bit awkward because it's very sandy and slippery. So it's probably a good job I'm doing this going up rather than going down. It's not too bad. There's the other slope. Look, that's why I didn't go up the other slope because there were some people and they looked like they were struggling and they weren't making a video. Right, okay, so the reason we're climbing this slope is to get to St Catherine's Chapel. Now I just noticed a bit of palisade fence. I know exactly what that is. It's um, the railway tunnel, which, so the railway actually goes underneath the Portsmouth direct line goes underneath this hill. It's more like rock now. Sandy rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting up there. I feel like I'm, I don't feel like this is England. Hard work. So the, yeah, the um, line to Portsmouth, Portsmouth's direct line, was extended in 1849 as far as Godalming. And it went for a tunnel under this hill. Quite interesting here, you can actually see how, and you can hear a train, how the rock is formed. So you've got this sandy stuff here, and you've got a harder rock, very hard rock, more sand. This must have happened under the sea millions of years ago. Right, I think it's, um, there's the river way down there. Time to continue our climb, but my efforts will be worth it. It looks like as you get up here, there's lots of little holes. I don't know if any insects, insects must nest in there. I hope it's not wasps. <laughs> See all these, they're amazing, those holes are. If anyone knows more about this, these holes, what they are, I probably shouldn't put my hand on actually. Please comment and tell me. You can see better here how it's formed, how these rocks are formed. Okay, I think we're almost at the top. So as I said, oh yeah, look, there's a railway line just down there. So when they extended the railway in 1849 to um, Godalming, they originally wanted to build the line to Portsmouth via Chichester, but they built this cheaper extension at the time to Godalming, and they had to build this tunnel. And the, when it opened in October, they had to close the line shortly afterwards because part of the tunnel collapsed. Just up there, the line branches off through Shelford and along the North Downs. That's a really nice line. Quite a lot of steam specials do that. And straight down goes to Portsmouth. There also was a line to Cranley. 
the views got quite a lot better so we're now we're nearly at the top I think we've done the hard work so this is the palisade fence guarding the mouth of the tunnel just up ahead of me I can see the ruins of St Catherine's Chapel what we are making this hard climb there I'm if you look there you can see I am directly above the railway line so it's not a particularly long tunnel but it goes under this hill and then Guildford station is about half a mile that way Let's see if I can give you a better view look through there see the railway line so here we go St Catherine's Chapel we've finally made it not particularly high climb but just more quite a hard climb so there behind us is St Catherine's Chapel now this chapel was built in the 14th century there isn't a huge amount known about the chapel's history um, it's thought that it was possibly like a convenience chapel for people who perhaps couldn't walk all the way can hear a train that's a car who couldn't walk all the way into Guildford um, you know to get to some of the larger chapels so they built this chapel here I think it's a lovely setting up here on this hill overlooking out over Guildford so um, there's two doors there I don't think we can actually get in because there's a fence all around it which is a bit of a shame because it would have been nice to have gone in oh look there's some elm trees here most people think all the elms are dead because of Dutch elm disease well to a certain extent that's true but they do still grow but they don't get very high because once it gets to a certain height the beetles attack as can be seen these ones here are starting to die off so let's have a wander around the chapel and then um, I'm going to have to make my way back to Guildford looks like there's a little spiral staircase so we're now at the front of the chapel going up there there's possibly a spiral staircase um, and if you look wherever the camera's picking it out I said exactly the same thing an hour or so ago and we're over there over there's Guildford Castle so I could see across here to St Catherine's Chapel so it's a lovely little building it's a very nice peaceful setting up here on the hill apart from being interrupted by the occasional helicopter and a slightly more nicer interruption you get the occasional train going underneath us so the tunnel must run well if you look there the palisade fencing is there so the tunnel must run sort of directly under here so from St Catherine's Chapel just outside Guildford I hope you enjoyed this video and um, thank you very much for watching goodbye